great football team. We cheer the Pittsburgh Steelers. Welcome to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony. Glad you could join me. Uh, today is just a day. It's a Saturday. I'm so I'm kind of. Uh, actually chilling out a little bit more today than I normally would. I spent a good bit of uh, the morning just resting, getting ready right now to do a uh, live working hangout on Nate's channel, Every Day I'm Hustling. By the time you guys see this, that hangout's probably already over, but if you want to go back and check it out, feel free. I'll link Nate's channel down below. You guys probably already have him though because he and I do do a morning show uh, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time called Ecom and Beyond. So I definitely appreciate uh, any of you guys that haven't already going to check that out. I'd appreciate thing that. I've been doing this week is working on a lot of uh, old video game systems that weren't working right. And I refurbished five of them just this week alone. And I got a few more that I'm currently working on. So down the pipeline here not too uh, far I'm um, be doing an auction with Justin Jacobs and I was also talking about doing an auction with Nate every day I'm hustling uh, maybe like a vintage uh, you know retro video game auction type thing so let me just show you a few of the systems that I've been working on so lately the first one here is the original Xbox uh, I'm gonna have that bundled with uh, 50 cent uh, bulletproof and as you can see, uh, the way I took the picture, you can see that the system's powered on and working. Um, the next one I did was a uh, black Wii. Uh, it does come with uh, chargers for your controllers. It also comes with one controller and it comes with uh, Mario. So that's a pretty nice little bundle. I did another Wii, just the standard white one. However, this is the backwards compatible version. So theoretically, you could also play GameCube games on this. This comes with DreamWorks carts. It's kind of like a Mario Kart type of game. Then I uh, refurbished a PlayStation 2. And that comes with three games. Uh, Short Tracks Racing, Shrek the Third, and Finding Nemo. That I uh, also refurbished a Sega Genesis. I've refurbished so many Segas over the winter. It's been insane, guys. Um, but this one I'm bundling with uh, my personal copy of Aladdin. Because I've uh, refurbished so many Segas, I've run out of uh, games to bundle with them. So I'm like now bundling my own games. So uh, I'm going to need to pick up a lot, of, a lot more uh, Sega games. That's for sure. So... And uh, this was just a lot of uh, Wii games that I had put together, 10 games. So you guys will be seeing those in an auction uh, sometime reasonably soon. So as you guys can see, I am in the middle of the working hangout right now. We've got Nate Every Damn Hustling there, Hip Flippin' Mama, We've got Larry Lafferty and myself. I'm sure there'll be a few more people jumping in uh, throughout the day. Uh, if by some chance I get this video up before we end, make sure you go check it out. All right, guys, I'm going to start packing an Amazon order right now. Um, I went and prepped everything last night. I worked pretty late. Um, man, yesterday was a long day. I probably put in about 12 or 13 hours in this basement yesterday. That was part of the reason I rested today because I was so sore from it. But uh, I prepped everything. That means I bagged up everything that needed bagged. Let me show you an example without revealing too much about the product books put them in their little baggie so that way they're good um oh, i guess i can show you this too clothing and stuff needs to go in little baggies so um typically whenever you put something up on amazon it'll tell you uh if it needs prepared if it does what you need to do to prepare it yada 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 so um, I did all the prep work last night. I even had some stuff that were, um, look, at, look at this, they're calling me out, guys. They're like, look at Anthony, he's been making videos during the lives. So yeah, I'm hanging out with these guys. But um, yeah, I had to put stickers on there that said that um, their sets do not separate. So you got to do... All that type of stuff as well. Alright guys, so number one role in beginning to package up your Amazon order, use eBay tape. And 
and that's how it's done. You might say, hey, why don't you just get clear tape? I have clear tape, but this is how I roll. So I just finished up the uh, Amazon order, and as you can see, I've just put eBay tape all over that sucker. All right, guys, I wanted to do a quick opening as well. Um, this I got in the mail yesterday. Uh, I ordered this from Lonnie over at Shed Flips, Garage Flips, however you know them. Um, it's going to replace this right here. I think most of you guys know what it is. I'll try not to show his address because that would be wrong. Boom. Thank you, Anthony. Lonnie. Okay, so this is a nice heavy duty uh, box cutter. Has the little Shed Flips logo on it. Uh, so as you see, it's like your normal box cutter. The thing that's really nice about this though, is this right here. It has a score. So like if I was gonna resize a package, um, this would make it real handy to do. Uh, one issue I ran into at my Amazon order, and this is one of the main reasons I got, not only did I want, I wanted to support Lonnie. He's one of the guys that got me into doing YouTube videos. So I always wanna uh, you know, honor him and I always want to uh, support him whenever I can. So that's one of the main reasons I got it. But how I've been resizing boxes lately is um, I've just been taking this and kind of lightly running it along the wall, which tends to work uh, the majority of the time. But if you go just a little bit too deep, uh, you're going to ruin the box. So I've had that happen. I actually just went a little too deep on that Amazon package, which is part of the reason why it um, has so much eBay tape on it. But uh, I, I did want to uh, give Lonnie a shout out. If you're interested in these knives, uh, you can go to uh, his big cartel store he puts the link to these in all of his videos so just go check out shed flips or garage flips and you can order one of these knives too i'm pretty sure it was $14.99 um after shipping so uh definitely a you know pretty solid deal this is very well made it's got a lot of heaviness to it uh it's easily probably three times as heavy as as this box knife was so um i was happy to get it so go show Lonnie some love if you haven't heard of him yet. I'm sure most of you have. You're probably living under a rock if you haven't heard of Lonnie. But I definitely appreciate y'all. What up, Long? What up, Long? Past Anthony saying, what's up to future Anthony? All right, guys. So I'm going to call it quits down here for right now. Uh, I got to run upstairs, let the dogs out, do a few things up there. I did get an Amazon order done. I got a bunch of listings done. Um... I did pull a few more uh, items that I'm going to be putting in my auction. Again, the date of that is tentative, but uh, just to do a little rundown of uh, four more lots I put together. I put together a Funko Pop lot, which uh, everybody is uh, after these Funkos right now, so I figured I might as well uh, share the love since I have so many of them left. Um, I put together a plush lot, which I always do really well with plush lot. Um, Plush is one of the things that I sell quite frequently, so I try to pass forward the love with those. I uh, got a comic book a lot together. I pulled 20 comics, uh, DC, Marvel, like all like pretty good name brand comics. Uh, and then movie theater, Mylars. They're the uh, plastic, here, let me just show you one. A lot of times describing it don't really do it justice. Go over here. Gotta move my minion. My minions guard them. So this is a Mylar. It's a uh, plastic thing that you would see like up behind the clerk. Um, and it's double sided. So depending on which way your thing goes. So that, that's pretty much what that is. Um, I have a good bit of these left. I'm going to be putting together a lot of them uh, for the auction. And uh, they're pretty cool. I've sold through a lot of these. Uh, over the last uh, year or two that I've had them. Uh, I don't have all of them listed currently. Um, so a lot of the ones that I'm going to be uh, putting in are ones that I just haven't got to listing yet. Um, just because I've been putting it off for other things. But let me know what you guys think about the lots that are going to be available. Um, I'm still going to probably put together some toys and 
a few other things too. Um, but that's kind of what I'm working with right now. And I might not put it all in the same auction, so we'll just have to kind of wait and see. Uh, but guys, I appreciate you watching the vlog. Uh, definitely leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy.